This is the finished catamaran we made from insulation, plywood, pipe and planks. This is a great day for all those who use building materials to make boats. <laughs> Sandra, are you getting your wetsuit on? No. Not yet. Not yet. In a minute. Let's see how you get on. Getting a quick sailing lesson now. <laughs> I should mention I have never sailed a catamaran ever. And it floated at least. Seriously, I wasn't sure it would even do that. The first problem I encountered was that the drop-down rudders wouldn't stay down. The bungees just weren't strong enough. It's a very expensive boat coming up to him. Ron could see immediately what was happening and he came to the rescue. Thanks, Ron. The other problem was more serious. I had hoped the hulls themselves would act as keels and stop the boat sliding sideways over the sea. They would have done, but with only one person on board, they weren't far enough down in the water to do that. In fact, I kept going anyway because it was sort of sailing. And Anthony arrived in his boat to help with the rudders. We ever see him again, I wonder. Oh, he's coming back! He's coming back, guys! Okay, fantastic. Without effective keels and no dagger boards, you can see how much the boat was sliding sideways. It was a good job. Anthony was around to help me the last bit. Thanks, Anthony. But it didn't sink and it was remarkably stable and the problems could be fixed. So I wasn't too disappointed. It didn't quite sell as I'd hoped, but there wasn't very much wind. And, um, but when it was really sailing, it was just gorgeous. So I took the holes apart and did what I should have done originally, add drop-down dagger boards. They are inside each hull, pulled down with a piece of string, and pulled up again with another piece of string. Then I put the insulation back on again. And I simplified the rudders. And I lengthened the tillers for more leverage. And they work this just way. fine. Oh, this way. Oh, that way. Oh. Now isn't this fantastic? What a thing to do on a sunny afternoon. This time, Sandra bravely came out with me. There wasn't much wind, but it was a lovely day and the catamaran worked so much better with more weight on board and the dagger boards installed. and that string and the rudder. <laughs> they all have names, but I can't remember them. In fact, it was sailing quite well, no, don't, don't but the wind gone. dropped away to nothing. This is very nice, isn't it? What a nice way to look at the sea. But, <laughs> um, aren't we supposed to be over there, Tim? <laughs> and someone forgot to pack the paddles. It may be so, me. Um, this is a good time to test your suit. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose so, Jim. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! Oh, I nearly fell in. <laughs> Looks like a two-stroke. <laughs> Fast enough. Tim. Good job. Good job. Yeah. So we're nearly there. You even sound like a two-stroke. <laughs> Undaunted, a couple of days later we went out again. Now, Mr. Sailor Man, how is this for sailing? It's a bit like sailing. It's a bit like sailing. Fantastic. Yeah. Look at 
Look at this. Glorious. Still not going very fast, but then the wind's dropping. <laughs> this time, we aimed for an island. It's a big island and hard to miss. Tim, jump ashore. Yeah. Plant the flag. Way! <laughs> I mean, all we have to do is go back over there. Back over there, back over where? Oh, holy mackerel, all the way over there. Uh oh. Owie! So, um, yeah, hot cocoa, please. Didn't pack any in the lunchbox. Now you can see this is exactly why I wanted a boat to head home across the bay as the sun goes down on a lovely day. Don't drop it, don't hit the top. Don't drop it, don't fall in, Tim. That's my main worry. I don't mind me, I don't want to drop the camera. No, but if you fall in, then the camera falls in. Oh, yeah. It may not be very pretty, but it is working surprisingly well. And it's special because it was built with help and advice from good friends and my granddad's old sails driving it along.